In this video, we will show you how to replace your crankshaft position sensor on this Nissan Maxima with a 3.5 liter engine. This will be located under your vehicle between your engine and transmission. Let's get into it. Okay friends, let's get started on our job. To locate the crankshaft position sensor, we're going to safely make our way under the front of the vehicle. In this area, you can see your engine and you can see your transmission. Directly up and in between the two is where our crankshaft position sensor is located. We're going to start with the electrical wiring harness. Take hold of the connector. It does have one locking tab on the passenger side of that connector, right over here where my index finger is. Go ahead and press that in and we'll pull this out of place. Every time you disconnect an electrical connector, you need to take a peek. If you see any funny colors, it's corrosion and that would need to be dealt with. This one looks fine, so we'll set it aside. Now we can remove the one piece of hardware using a 10 millimeter. Hardest part's just getting up into this area. Close inspection of the mounting bolt will set it aside. At this point, there's nothing else holding the crankshaft position sensor in place. Let's go ahead and take hold of it and pull it straight out and away. There it is, friend. With the sensor out of place, the next thing you need to do is clean and inspect the mounting area, confirming that there's no miscellaneous debris or damage. I'm just going to use a clean rag, never use any parts cleaner in this area. Now it's time to install the brand new crankshaft position sensor. Looking at the sensor, you're going to find that you have an O-ring seal. It's a good idea to add a little bit of lubricant in this area. You can use some clean motor oil or some petroleum jelly if necessary. Let's get this in position. Sliding it straight in, we'll align the mounting bolt port and snug it up. A quick note about installing this mounting bolt, you have to keep in mind that it's a very small bolt. Once we have it started in, we're going to bottom it out and I'm going to torque this to 60 inch pounds. Got my torque wrench, 60 inch pounds. We have the sensor torqued. It's time for the electrical wiring harness. Let's go ahead and get this connector aligned. We'll press it in, listen for an audible click. After a click, just go ahead and give it a light tug. We're trying to pull it out and away. It should not pop free. Otherwise, it's not properly locked in. Okay, friend, we finished our installation. The next thing you need to do is carefully make your way out from under the vehicle. Start up your vehicle and let it run for a short while. Make sure you have no check engine light and no running condition and take your vehicle for a road test. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.